welcome to Lagos Update on Lagos Traffic Radio, 96.1 FM. This program highlights the activities of the Lagos State Governor and other state events. I am Adiola Akindili. In the highlights of the program today, Governor Sonwolu unveils blocks of 38 housing units in Victoria Island, plus Lagos State Governor swears in new cabinet members. This and more after this timeout. We'll begin today with the story. Lagos State Governor Babaji De Somolu has unveiled two blocks of 38 units of two and three bedroom flats at Victoria Island. Governor Somolu commended the management and staff of the Lagos State Development and Property Corporation for keeping up the visions establishing it, called for more private sector partnership to reduce the housing deficit in the state. Our doors are open to work with other willing private investors, private sector players in all facets of life, be it in road construction, housing, in urban development, in hospital. We can work together, we can collaborate because where we cannot reach, private sector also can reach. Governor Sonwolu said before the end of the year, his administration would deliver more affordable and decent housing projects for all categories of residents and vigorously pursue comprehensive urban renewal programs to unlock the potential in each community in the state. According to him, his administration will ensure that opportunities and land spaces are unlocked while the EGI's project to fast track the processing of land documents in the comfort of their rooms will be delivered before the end of the year. Earlier in his welcome address, Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of Lagos State Development and Property Corporation, Ayodeji Joseph, commended Governor Bapaji de Sonwolu, whose tenure the project was initiated in LSDPC for his immense contributions towards housing development in the state and unflinching support for the LSDPC. We are glad that through this joint venture, we are able to deliver 38 family residential units of commercial value and quality. In a good deal message, the owner of Iruland, or Bagbola Onlawal, recommended Governor Sawulu for thinking outside the box, noted that the governor's vision for housing was in tandem with his vision to make Lagos compact and smart for the residents. From that story, we move to this one which says, despite the economic cost of propagating climate change action, the Lagos State Government is set to maximize its action plans by partnering the private sector individuals to ensure emission-free Lagos by 2050. Governor Babaji de Sonwolu made this commitment on Tuesday at the ninth edition of the Lagos State Climate Change Summit with a theme, Integrating Climate Change Action in Lagos Development, Investment Opportunities and Trade-offs. Represented by his deputy, Obafemi Hamzat, the governor noted that climate change is not a future problem, hence the need for urgent, inclusive climate change actions to reduce its impact by not only mitigating, but also encourage adaptation to create a more resilient Lagos. We have recognized that inaction in the face of the devastating impact of climate change is not an option for us in Lagos. No one, and I say no one, will be left untouched. Even worse is the impact on the most vulnerable among us, our women, our children, persons with living with disabilities, and the poor people. Our government is in constant discussion with private sector, development partners, and donor organizations to find solutions and ways to better adapt to climate impact, with special emphasis on protecting the vulnerables. In his welcome address, Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Tunji Belu, who hinted that Lagos, as of now, is the only sub-national taking action on climate plan action said the Sonwolu administration has embarked on deliberate and consistent efforts with 26 initiatives across adaptation and mitigation actions to advance a sustainable low-carbon economy and a quest to achieve net zero by year 2050. Climate action requires significant investment and it's also a note fact 
that the economic cost of climate action far exceeds the cost of action. This is why the ministry is forward looking with our collaborative efforts with private sector in order to maximize the inherent benefits of climate action. We hope others can come on board in subsequent editions as we shape our Lagos towards a more robust, sustainable and resilient city through climate action. Climate change isn't just a political or scientific issue. It is something that affects each and every one of us. Now it is time to act. Together we can make a difference. Discussions at the event commended Lagos State Government for taking action on climate change, which requires the commitment and support of all stakeholders to mitigate its impact. Lagos State Governor Babajide Songulu has sworn in seven executive members into his cabinet. Three of them were former appointees who resigned their appointments to pursue political offices, while four are newly appointed. Those reappointed are the special advisor to the governor and housing, Mrs. Toke Bensina Winka, and her civic engagement counterpart, Princess Adiremi Adebowale, while Mr. Sholagiwa, the former senior special assistant to the governor on central business districts, replaces Mr. Tuin Fainka, a special advisor on transportation. Mr. Olufemi Martins replaces Mr. Solomon Bonu as a special advisor on tourism and culture. Dr. Babajide Abiodun is now the special advisor, EGIs and planning matters, while engineer Abiola Olu is a new essay commerce in the industry as Mr. Bolaji Roberts becomes a special advisor to the governor and local government in chieftaincy affairs. In his remarks, Governor Sonwulu urged the appointees not to see the office as opportunity for self-service but to impact the grassroots in line with his administration's themes agenda and for a greater Lagos. See this appointment as a brick building, as a first mending, and as a shooting bar for all of our political differences amongst our party faithfuls. Use your appointment to galvanize the grassroots. Use your appointment to touch the life of the people that you represent. Use your appointment to ensure that the greatest good is for the greatest number. Governor Sonolu reassured Lagosians of his administration's commitment to make the city more livable for them through renewed infrastructural projects in the coming days and solicited their continued support. Responding on behalf of the appointees, the special advisor to the governor on housing, Toke Bensina Winka, thanks the governor for deeming them worthy and promised that they would give their best. Thank you for the privilege to serve and we hope to give more of ourselves than is expected. We hope that by the end of this administration, we would move towards the Lagos of our dreams. The event was attended by families and friends of the appointees, some traditional rulers, past and serving members of the State House of Assembly and former commissioners in the state. Finally, on the program today, Lagos State Governor Babaji De Sonwulu is posited but ensuring good corporate governance and self-regulating the digital space will completely eradicate fake news. Governor Sonwulu stated this while declaring open a workshop organized by the Nigerian Guild of Editors with a theme, Journalism and Digitalization, the imperative of good corporate governance. The governor said his administration will continue to promote press freedom and good corporate governance, urged media practitioners to always regulate their activities in the digital space. <music> President of the Nigerian Guild of Editors, Mustafa Issa, said digital technology has provided room for breaking news for journalists to create online sites to become competitive in open source of income. He said the media would not succumb to pressure from the government to determine the people's rights 
to information. And with that story, we conclude this week's edition of Lagos Update, a program that highlights the activities of the Lagos State Governor and other state events. You can listen to Lagos Traffic Radio on our website, www.trafficradio961.ng and follow us on our various social media platforms. Twitter, Lagos Traffic 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe to our channel, Lagos Traffic 961. You can download our app, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM from Play Store for more updates. You can also follow me on Twitter at Adeola Akindele1. Thanks to my producer, Babatende Akinyemi, studio engineer, Oyeshola Ola, with support from the social media team. The executive producer is Tayo Akunle. I'm Adeola Akindele. Next week is another date. Stay blessed and stay safe.